didn't see you there. Welcome to Barry Smart, a channel whose initials are foreshadowing for its content. This is an English adaptation of my very, very successful Serbian channel. Very successful. If you know anything about the Balkans, you can perfectly sum up Serbia. Rich history and culture, many wars and revolutions, liberty, strength, alcohol and food, and a disputed territory. These were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little country. I guess. Of course, I'll try to avoid politics, so spare me your constructive and well-written comments. Serbia is a country in southeastern Europe, partly on the famous Balkan Peninsula and partly on the Pannonian Basin. Serbia borders Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, you know what you did, Albania, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Croatia. The country consists of five statistical regions, Belgrade which has a special status as the capital and biggest city. Then we have Shumadia and Western Serbia on the west, Southern and Eastern Serbia I'll leave you to work out where it is. There are also two autonomous territories, Vojvodin in the north and... <sighs> Kosovo. A huge trigger point for us patriots. After NATO aggression on Yugoslavia in 1999, the UN took over control in Kosovo until it unilaterally proclaimed independence in 2008. But I guess it failed since Suriname and Guinea-Bissau revoked their recognitions of this so-called country. So what to do in Serbia? Serbia is filthy rich with prehistoric but also Roman archaeological sites. We have cultures like Klepinski Vir from 11,000 years ago, then Starčevo and Vinča. There are many Roman sites because 17 of their emperors were born here. The list of sites is very long so I'll mention a couple of them. Singidunum which is today Belgrade, then Viminacium, Felix Romuliana and Sirmium. Some of the most popular attractions are National Park Djerdap, Zlatibor, Resava Cave, Zavine, Fruška Gora, Subotica, Novi Sad which you can literally translate to new now. Vet Mountain, ok I'll stop translating. Golubac, Topola, National Park Tara, Special Nature Reserve Uvac, Nightlife in Belgrade, Exit, Beer Fest, Guccia, just come and visit. You can reach most of these things via the highway or the two international airports in Belgrade and Niš. So uh, let's go over the history quickly as I promised I wouldn't get political. Forming of the Principality of Serbia in 7th century. Crowning of the first Serbian king Stefan Nemanja in 1217. Serbia changes its status to an empire in 1346 as Stefan Dusan becomes a czar. Famous Battle of Kosovo in 1389, one of the proudest moments of Serbian history. Fall of Belgrade in 1521 and beginning of a long period of Ottoman reign over Serbia. First Serbian uprising, second Serbian uprising. International recognition of independence in 1878. Polite exchanges of territories with Bulgaria. Many, many exchanges. First Balkan War, then the sequel, revenge kind of sequel. World War I, Kingdom of Yugoslavia, World War II, Titus Yugoslavia. And then came the famous 90s, fall of Yugoslavia and NATO bombing in 1999 and the creation of this channel in 2018. Serbia spans on almost 90,000 square kilometers and since we don't have a reliable number from Kosovo, it's home to around 9 million people, maybe. This puts Serbia on 20th place in Europe. Biggest cities after Belgrade are Novi Sad, Niš, Pristina and Kragovac. And now the stats. Since numbers on Kosovo are hazy, we can only look at the rest of Serbia. Serbs constitute around 83% of the population, while the biggest minority are Hungarians, mainly in Vojvodina. Then we have Romanis, Bosniaks, Croatians, Slovaks, unreported Albanians and so on. Serbia is one of those countries whose population number is constantly shrinking, though it's a popular trend in Eastern Europe. 90s hit Serbia hard and people were forced to look for a better life around the world. This made Serbs a very rare and special case where there are more of them outside of the country than on the inside. On the other hand, Belgrade's population is still growing, but not because people like to get intimate with each other, but because people from all over the country come to the city. In Triggerland though, population naturally increased but a lot of people are leaving for Western Europe. Around 85% are Orthodox Christian, 5% are Catholics, mainly Hungarians, Croatians and Slovaks. Islam is followed by 3% of people. But still, don't forget, unregistered Albanians. Ok, ok, I'll move on. Yugoslav wars of the 90s have caused the breakup of the socialist state, meaning the economy went to sh** and inflation rates were bigger than Logan Paul's ego. A relevant comedy. In the early 2000s, the economy somewhat recovered, but the financial crisis of 2008 wrecked the country again. GDP is expected to reach almost 50 billion dollars, about 7k per person. Which is not great, but it's all in the spirit of the peninsula. Average monthly wage is around 500 dollars. 
unless if you live outside of Belgrade or make YouTube videos. Serbia's largest exports are vehicles, electric machines, fruits and veggies. Also tourism has seen a great increase from the world famous festivals and those previously mentioned attractions. I'm trying so hard to promote this place to you right now. Diplomacy. Ah. Serbia is a UN member and is a neutral country. It's also in the process of negotiations with the EU for joining the union, but people are not too hyped about it. As for the neighbors. <laughs> Serbs consider Greeks and Montenegrins to be their best friends. We share the same religion and are historically tied together. But Montenegro recognized Kosovo. You know what? Never mind. Romania is also considered a historically close ally. And also same religion. Macedonia? Well, there's a lot of controversy there. With the name dispute and their recognition of Kosovo. Oh, fuck! God damn it. Of course, Russia is like a huge brother to Serbia, except during the NATO bombing. Oh, f I don't even care! And now, what you've all been waiting for. Serbia versus Croatia. <laughs> Exchange of goods that surpasses a billion dollars makes it easier to live as neighbors. Still, both countries are home to a lot of both Serbs and Croatians. And other than edgy 13-year-olds, no one gives a <gasps> and people mind their own business. For Serbia, Italy and Germany are business partners, as trade value reached 9 billion dollars. Also, Germany, Austria and Switzerland are home to a lot of Serbs, who wanted to try their luck in a more stable world. So these countries are considered as a hot girl who doesn't give two shits about you, and recognizes Kosovo as an independent state. Ho jebem ti! In conclusion, Serbia seems to be a magnet for wars, 43 to be exact, of which 15 against Bulgaria, so watch your back. Thanks to the rich history, culture and everything else we mentioned today, a distinct Serbian temper was born that guarantees you'll never feel bored here. This was an English adaptation of a video I made a while back in Serbian. Leave a like, comment, share and subscribe for more spicy subjects, trust me it can only get better from here. I also have Instagram and Patreon if you wanna support my unhealthy habits. If you wanna practice your Serbian or want to see me not fail an English accent, visit my Serbian channel. Vidimo suskoro!